you need this. If you have clicked this video, you need a Bible. And I'm not talking about the Android phone Bible, your iPhone has a Bible, or your tech, your you, the technology has advanced. Guys, you need a Bible. You need a Bible. If you're watching me, comment down below and tell me you're going to get a Bible after you watch this. This is full of wisdom. This book contains a lot of wisdom. And because you want to know how to how to pray and activate the spiritual realm, because understand one thing, Forex is spiritual. And even if you don't agree, it is all, it's already spiritual. So it's not a matter of you agreeing. It's a matter of what it is there. So this video I have created to help you how to maneuver the spiritual part and how to know what to pray and how to pray. That's the in, that's the purpose of this video. Because I, I have come to realize that what gain will Esther Murphy get if I gain the whole world, if I make the, the amount of money and then I lose my soul, what gain will it be? Or if I go to heaven and God asks, I gave you people you never mentioned about me. You never even told them the importance of having the Bible. You never even spoke to someone. Sometimes you may be having the last saving. Let's say you have uh, a thousand with you if you're in Kenya or ten dollars with you, and that is your last money. Why don't you? Why don't you invest your last money and get yourself a Bible? Get yourself a Bible. So this video, I just want us to discuss on how to pray as a forex trader. Or I want even to tell you how do I pray and activate my the spiritual help because guys I won't lie to you there are so many times that I have have dream, I have dreamt with the market and it's like the Holy Spirit has warned me or given me a clue on what the market will do and many times when I have such dreams it happened so the Holy Spirit can come even into your dreams. The Holy Spirit can send people. That's why you have met this video. That's why you have been suggested. You have never seen me. You don't even know what I'm talking about. You even don't know what is Forex. And this is your first video. And I want to commend you. Comment down below. If this is your first video to ever watch me. If you have never even watched me and this is your first video, you will know that life is so spiritual. Life is more spiritual than you think. Nothing is coincidence. Everything happens at the right time. So in this video, I want to show you how I pray myself. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm not saying my way is the best. I'm not even trying to say that I have done it all. Is that that simple thing I have done, that tweaking, that thing that I have done in my Forex career has really changed. Guys, the Holy Spirit whispers in my ears to give me strategies. Like I, I, the many times that I have cried to God and I've told God, 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 if you're real, show yourself to me. Show yourself. Like God, give me, give me something. Give me something tangible to know that you're God. And everything that I'm doing from my strategies and everything, let me tell you, uh, it is evident that this is not a human origin kind of wisdom. This should be, and it is from the Holy Ghost himself. So I want to show you how to pray. If you want to know how to pray, let's say you are not, uh, you have never done prayers. The first thing I will encourage you is to give your life to God. Because these promises that are in this Bible are for those who submit to Jesus Christ. You have to submit to Jesus Christ. You have to say, Father, and I want to do that one minute prayer so that there's someone who is watching me and they're not born again. There's someone who is watching me and they don't know even, they have never even given themselves themselves to Christ. Remember, our biggest mission, our purpose here on earth is not for me to teach Forex, but it's for me to bring people to the kingdom of God. That is my main my main reason. So sometimes I may want to talk about God, 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 but where I find, a, you know, a life has to have a balance, but where I will talk about God, I will not shy away. So can we first do that one minute prayer with that person who is watching me and they're not, they're not born again? And then I can tell you how do you activate prayers as a forex trader? How do you combine prayers? Because I have seen people even coming to my inbox and, and telling me, I want to know more about this God that you keep talking. Now I have, I want to create a video because imagine it's so tiresome to answer individual. So this video is that person who is like, by the way, 
but then this aspect of God, I've never like given him my, 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 my attention. I have been focusing on the wrong things. I'm telling you, you have to fix your eyes on Jesus. So let's do that one minute prayer so that we can allow our brothers who are not born again to accept Jesus Christ. So close your eyes, it's just one minute. Say, Father Lord, I come before you this moment and I confess I'm a sinner. And to this day, I want to confess all my sins and I want to accept you as Jesus, the savior and salvation of my life. I want to accept that I'm now born again, that I'm no longer a slave to sin, but I have come to the kingdom of God. My name has been written off, has been rubbed from the book of hell and now has been written to the book to the book of life. I'm now a born again Christian. If you have said that prayer, it's so simple, but imagine you are included in this. So I want to show you how to do it. Whenever you want to pray, look for scriptures, look for scriptures, guys. And I will give you the scriptures that I, I have so many scriptures, but I, I just do three scriptures. And I want you to always meditate on those. So whenever you pray, whenever you wake up in the morning, don't pray your own mind. Pray the word of God. The Bible says that no word that will come out, that will go and come and come back void. Like it means no word of God that will be released and not do what it is supposed to do. So any word of God that is released, you may not see the, the results at that moment. You may fail to see the results, but anytime the word of God is released, trust me, it has to do the work. So we will open Ecclesiastes. Is it Ecclesi Ooh, Ecclesiastes, that one? E Ecclesiastes chapter nine. And I want to encourage someone who is watching me. The Bible says from the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse 11, I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not for the swift or battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned, but time and chance happens to them all. If you're watching me, it means time and chance happens to them all. This is your moment. This is your chance to buy that car that you have always wanted, to build that house, to travel, to take your kids to the best school to shift you have been you have been you have been wanting to 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 go and rent somewhere good maybe to move from a one bedroom to a two bedroom or you have you are in a two bedroom you are believing god for a seven bedroom it is possible because time and chance happens to them all the Bible says wealth is not for the brilliant. You have been looking yourself down because, oh, I didn't go to college. I didn't get good grades. The Bible is saying the wealth is not for the brilliant, but time and chance happens to them all. The race is not for the sweet. Sometimes you may not have the wings to fly. You may not even have the right capital. You may be a trader, but always you're trading with $5. Like it is so stressful to trade with small account. You trade with $5, you trade with $10, it blows. You fund again, it blows. And you have never even seen a $100 in your account. This is what for you, that the race is not for the swift. Those people with $1,000, $2,000, they, they may think that they are far above than you, but the race is not for the swift. The battle is not for the strong. Sometimes you may feel you're so down. You feel like you don't want even to move forward. You feel like you don't want to, to even to open the church. You are so weak. Remember what the Bible says, that if you're weak, say you are strong. The Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. So sometimes the, re the, the, the battle is not for the strong. When we come to the forex, uh, for the forex market, the forex chart does not ask. By the way, how is your emotions? How are you feeling? Are you feeling weak? We don't want you. The forex market does not care. That's why the battle is not for the strong. Okay. So even if you feel like you're so down, let's say uh, you have blown your last money. Let's say. Um, you are believing God for something and it didn't happen. Let's say you went and took a loan and that money got lost. Or you you just, you just are just trusting on God and he never showed up. It's not like that God never showed up. It's just time and chance, guys. Time and chance happens to them all. 
the well is not for the pre-land. And the last thing I would emphasize on this picture, favor is not for the landed. Don't think that those people who are favored are the ones that have land or they have opportunities in life. Favor can happen to anyone. And I'm, I mean it, anyone. Favor can happen to anyone. Time and chance happens to them all. So this is how you pray. When you know this scripture in your heart and when you believe in it, that time and chance happens to them all. When you wake up in the morning, you will say, the battle is not for the strong. Lord, I believe. Even if I have a $10 account, your word is saying that the battle is not for the strong. Time and chance happens to them all. I shall succeed. I shall succeed. I am seeing I am great. Even if I may be weak. The, the Bible is saying the battle is not for the strong only. I may be weak, but this battle I am winning because as long as you're in my boat, this storm will not, will not overwhelm me. So this is how you pray as a forex trader. The market is so the market is so confusing, but you're saying favor is not only for the learned. I know I didn't even complete my high school. I'm a I'm a class eight student. I'm a class eight pupil. I didn't even go to high school. I didn't go to even to, to university. At my age, look at my age, God. I may be 50, I may be 60, I'm retiring. But you have said time and chance happens to them all. The world is not for the brilliant. Yes, I'm not brilliant. In fact, I've never handled money. That's how you pray. You activate. First, you get the word. You internalize the word. It, it becomes one with you. Then you start praying. And because we, ask you, we want the forex market, you will put the forex in need. Time and chance happens to them. All the next scripture. Let me show you the next scripture and how to pray with the next scripture. James 1 5. So let's go to James 1 5. And I can show you how to activate the spiritual uh, realm to help you. So James 1 5, the Bible says, if any of you, if any of you, it did not specify your race. It, do, it didn't specify the career that you're in, the position you are. It did not specify those things. He said, in, if, if any of you, so it is, it is open to anyone. In fact, it is open to anyone who has the knowledge, anyone who has the information, okay? If any of you lack wisdom, if, do you know sometimes you can feel you don't have the wisdom? Sometimes... It is so, so evident, like you don't have the wisdom. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God. Don't go and ask people. Don't go and, and consult your Google. Yes, you can watch, to, you can watch, you can ask God and God brings Esther more free, brings this video, pops up this video from you. Like, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without fall. God does not choose. Don't think I am so favored by God and you, you are not. God did not choose me and left others. He, if he chose me, he can choose you because he generously give without finding fault and it will be given to you so what you do with that scripture you say father i thank you today you have said if i lack wisdom i ask you it's sure i do not have wisdom of forex i try to understand forex the the, the education on forex it's so huge on my mind i pray for wisdom you have said you'll give me generously may i understand the markets may i understand the markets father i want that wisdom that you have given esther morfrey I want that wisdom that you have given us, all the successful traders. I can be able to scale high like them because you are their God. You're also my God. Give me wisdom. That's how you pray. You activate scriptures. And then because you need the wisdom of the market, you can say, God, give me the wisdom to interpret. God, give me the wisdom of placing trades. Give me the wisdom of to know how when to trade the news. Give me the wisdom of knowing how to exit the market. God, I need wisdom of a good strategy. I need wisdom of capital management, risk management. I need wisdom. I need wisdom to know how to do with my profits. After I gain the profits, I have noticed I'm misusing the money. Can you give me the wisdom? Wisdom. Let me know what do you want me to do with the, ma the money, the profit that you have given me. Start praying for wisdom, people. 
pray for wisdom. My people perish for lack of knowledge and wisdom. Don't be allow, don't allow yourself to fail for failure for lack of wisdom. So that's how you pray and you activate. The minute you ask God, ah, uh, the Bible says, I will give you the next and the last scripture uh, from Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. The Bible says, call to me and I will answer you. Call to me. Imagine the word of God is telling you, call, call. It's you who have not been calling. Imagine I'm waiting, me, God, I'm waiting here to just to, to just waiting when you will call. Call to me, call, call to me and I will answer you and tell you. Remember, when you call to God, anything that you want, he will answer you. The Bible says, call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. So the Bible is promising you, not only will I answer what you have called me about, even what you didn't even ask, I will give it to you. And that's why for me, I just wanted when back in 2020, guys, and I keep saying this story and I will keep repeating back in 2020, I just wanted God to give me direction. God, I have tried this. I have tried A. I have tried Z. Can you show me direction? Show me what, I, where is my money? Which channel will you use? Because understand God is the source. And he uses different channels. So I was like, which channel will you use, God? And if this is the channel that you will use, open my eyes. Let me see. Like her guy, you can imagine her guy in the desert. He had kept the sun at a far distance because he didn't want to see the sun die. Okay, so her guy had put the sun at a far distance, and both the sun and her guy were crying to God. So what happens when you cry to God? He will answer you. And not only will he answer you, he will tell you things you do not know of. So what happened to her guy? The eyes were open and he, she saw the well. So that is the thing that will happen to you people. If you can trust on God, if you can pray with scriptures, that is exactly what I do. I don't do anything different. My favorite scripture right now is God. You have said you are creating a room. A skillful man, a talent shall create a room in the presence of great men. For me, I know you are not even trying to convince me. I already know that it's just a matter of time. And I start standing before kings because I already have the skill. A skillful man shall stand in the presence of kings. That is the word of God. The word of God is telling me that Esther, a skillful man. The Bible says that I will do exceedingly abundantly above all you think or imagine through the power that is in me. So I need first to understand, okay, there's a power in me through the power that is in me. So number one thing I need first to activate the power. And you see, when you go to that scripture that says, there will be a power above you on you when the Holy Spirit come upon you. You shall be witnesses all over the world. You can imagine already I have the power because I have the Holy Spirit. Can you understand what the scripture does? The scripture comes to build you up as a forex trader. As a forex trader, you need the word of God. You really need the word of God. This is not the market to come and, and just say, oh, if I get, I get. No, we come. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence shall take it by force. Okay, so guys, um, for me, I would really, really encourage you, encourage you that you have to activate the spiritual guidance, the spiritual help. Why would you suffer alone? When Jesus said, I allow me to leave, I am leaving, I'm going to the Father, but I will leave you, I will send a helper. Why would you not want to, to, to take? What Jesus left us. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. He's our mentor. He's our guide. He's our counselor. He's all these things. Why can't you look upon the name of God? The Bible says, I will look up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? I will look up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the creator of the universe. Our God does not sleep. Our God does not slumber. When we have slept and God is awake, he can guide us through even if we are sleeping. So I, it's my, if, for me, my, my gain is if you 
come to do forex trading and you acknowledge God. You make your money and acknowledge God. That one will be, it will, it will be the best thing that you will start watching me and the desire, the Bible says, draw near to me and I shall draw near to you. You have first to desire to come near to God so that God can draw now near to you. You have to desire. The Bible says that, I've, that to live carnally is death and to, to live in the spiritual realm is life. So why would you not want to involve everything in the spirit? So that is it, guys. That is how you pray with scriptures. So when you go and pray and you say, Father, I call upon the name of the Lord. You have said, call unto me and you shall answer me. I know you have answered my prayer. I know I have the mind of Christ. I know Jesus became my wisdom. Like these are the scriptures I keep meditating and saying. For me, I have so favorite scriptures. They are one with me. And I will keep saying, Jesus became poor for me to be rich. What do you mean I can be poor? How am I? I cannot be poor. There's a scripture say buy without money. I don't need to hustle. You see this hustling. We are not hustling. Just look at the life of Christ. Jesus never has sold. If it's two fish, five loaves, he just multiplied it. He goes to the, the wedding where the wine was there. He doesn't have to go and buy the wine. He just changed water to wine. Like Jesus has set a very good example. And the Bible says, if you believe in me, you shall do greater and mighty works that I have done more than I have done. Jesus promising us that. And if you ask anything in my name, why don't you call? Oh, if you can only imagine how God can open your mind when it comes to forex trading, this is the only thing that can pull you so close to God. Because it's something that you tell God, show me, show me God your way. And he'll start opening your mind and you start making money. And you can know this money that you're making is not by your own effort. It's not by our might. It's not by our power, but is the power of the living God. It is so evident there's no way you can lie. You cannot lie. How? This one, you cannot say. Uh, let me tell you guys, like when you understand what I'm trying to tell you, when you activate the spiritual realm, you will know that this one is from the help of God. So I hope I have, I have helped you. I hope um, I, I have told you how to, to activate the spiritual realm as a forex trader. Pray with scriptures. Okay, guys, all the best. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I love you.